Hey you guys, this is Brad from Dallas Geek, and I'm here today with... Uh, Erica Muse. I do Scarlet Muse cosplay, and I just uh, really like to cosplay and run around at conventions. Awesome. So, tell our viewers how you got started in cosplay. Um, well, Halloween was always huge for my family, and so I got really obsessed with costumes when I was like eight. It was my parents' anniversary, my brother's birthday, and my dad made all of his own costumes. So he yeah. actually taught me how to sew and all that kind of stuff. Um, I started going to conventions when I was 14, so I've been okay. running around for about 12 years now. Okay. Um, and last year, I hit 80 cosplays. And I had people really asking me to do a booth, and I finally did it, and then realized that it just made sense, because then I don't have to be mobile, I can have a lot more props, people can come by, take photos at the booth, and I don't have to look up my work when people are like, oh, have you ever done a cosplay for this? Sure. I just already have photo books and stuff, so it's just, um, I just do it for fun, really. Nice. And so you said that you've done 80 cosplays mm -hmm. overall. How long does the average cosplay usually take you to make? Really depends on what it is. It really depends on what I bite off. Because if you're doing like a armor build, that's going to take a long time. Been okay. working on boots for a purge suit for uh, two months now. Wow. And uh, the foam just sometimes fights back. But it's also one of my first like full armor builds instead of just, you know, a shoulder piece or a front like plate or something like that. It's my first full suit build. So a lot of interesting new corners <laughs> to cover. Very nice. Um, but most of the cosplays usually take about a week. Um, okay. And that's just getting home from work and then working all night. And I still, you know, play on the weekends. So I guess if I used the weekends, it would be a weekend. <laughs> Very nice. So of all the cosplays that you've done so far, has there been one that has been your favorite or does it just kind of blend together after a while? Um, I think one of my favorites, sorry, I was Kim Possible yesterday, so that's my ringtone going off right now. Um, <laughs> um, my favorite so far, I think, was Slave Leia, only because I spent three months in my cubicle with a hot glue gun. We were in slow season, wow. um, so don't tell my boss, mostly during lunch. Yes. Um, I was hot gluing piece by piece and then painting over it with bronze paint, so it's all hot glue and bronze paint. Wow. So that's one of my favorites, but as I wear it, the boob part, because there's nothing to like hold it down, slowly sure. warps out. So it's the only sure, kind of sure. rocky part of that one, okay. um, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Okay. So has there been a cosplay that you want to do, but you haven't had a chance to yet? Um, well, definitely our Rick and Morty purge suits. Okay. Really looking forward to that. I cannot wait. I'm working on his uh, Morty backpack, so he has dead Morty on his back. Okay. So really looking forward to that. Very nice. <laughs> so... What has been your favorite part of the convention scene overall? Oh, I mean, since I was, you know, younger and in high school, it was kind of my escape because, I mean, I think bullying's gotten better. I'm yeah. not sure. They say it has. I'm not in school. Sure. Wouldn't know. Sure. But I didn't like it. Wasn't a fan. Yeah. Um, and it was just kind of my escape because conventions everybody there has their own kind of different going on so nobody's going to be judgmental about anything so for a few days you can be or say whatever like you can be whoever you want you can act however you want sure. and nobody's going to judge you and that is awesome it's just so free and Very so nice. i loved that like i'd put on all my goth stuff for a day and then all my country stuff and it didn't matter and um the first day of my first convention i was accidentally a character um i had a how are you accidentally a character <laughs> Well, funny story, I had never seen Death Note, okay. and I had a terrible haircut from a hair show I had done. And I put up the top half of my hair in little pigtails because okay. I didn't want it down because it was just like really choppy and terrible. Okay. And I was wearing all my goth stuff and like handcuffs, and I had a guitar purse, and everybody was like, Misa! And I was like, who? And they showed me a picture, and I was like, I am dressed just like Misa. Very nice. And then I was cosplaying ever since. I went nice. home and was like, what can I put together? Very, very so. nice. So, with all of the big push for social media around cosplay. Uh, what has your level of participation been with that? Yeah, so we just started trying to do that, because I okay. did it for fun before, but sure. now that I'm trying to do the booth thing more, um, I'm trying to grow that. Um, I've had Facebook forever, but up until December it had like 1,500 people on it, but I'm already up to 3,500 okay. in the last like four months, so nice. it's, it's working, just sharing into groups and kind of telling people more what I do and it's important to take progress photos so I'm getting better about that okay. kind of showing people how I did stuff um, they love to see tutorials which I get it's helpful when you want to make stuff sure so I'm working on it my okay. Instagram and Twitter are totally new so I'm still figuring out how all that works and what kind of hashtags to do and I think a little bit of the hashtagging is monotonous yeah no it, it can get there reading into it I'll figure it out eventually okay. social media is not a 
my main thing. I'm not into talking through people electronically. Really bad about answering my phone, as I have just shown. Um, nice. <laughs> but I'm much rather like see people in person, have face to face, sure. and you know, hang out and have a good time. Okay, awesome. Um, so with all of the stuff that you've been doing for cosplay and all the stuff that you have had with all the time at the conventions that you've uh, been to, is there a, any aspect of the conventions that you're not a fan of? Um, or better yet, lines? something that could be improved? <laughs> lines. Okay. I don't know how. Couldn't tell. I haven't thought about it that hard. Sure. Just not a fan. Sure. So there are some things that I'm like, eh. I'll just uh, see it later or something. I don't know. Not a fan of that. And I um, I really hate it when some people take it too seriously. Okay. Um, like, you know, you put a lot of effort into your costumes. I totally understand that. And that's amazing. But when people compliment your costume and they call you the wrong character, they're still complimenting your handiwork. Sure. They may have gotten it wrong, but sure. give them some credit. You're just forcing them out of this. Don't do that. We want more people in this. Oh, yeah. So I, I hate it when people are like, that's not who I am. And like... You know, I still think your armor looks cool. Yeah. Pardon me for not knowing the million fandoms that are out there. Um, or, or when people tear down another cosplay when they're like, you know, you didn't finish that part. Or you could have done this. Like, if they didn't ask you, be nice. You know? Like, they're cosplaying. They're having Absolutely. a good time. Let them be. You know, so unless people ask me for critiques, not doing it. Got and it. Uh, con uh, contests. I think some people take it too seriously. Okay. Afterward, they're like, why didn't I get first? What could I have done? Did you see what you were competing against? It's really more about that than it is about you. Because some cosplays, they're just not going to be that cool against others. Because if I had a Sith Ray, it could be the coolest, most spot-on Sith Ray, and somebody else has a World of Warcraft suit of armor, it's going to be cooler. Those are just beautiful. Oh, yeah. No, there was a few years <laughs> back for um, Fan Days where the costume contest had a full, like, I, I think it was like a full 10 foot uh, xenomorph queen. Yeah. It was, it was impressive. Yeah. So, oh yeah. No Finn and Jake is going to beat that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you so. could be the cartoon characters. You could have LED screens. It yeah. wouldn't beat that. Yeah. So, um, just on a final note, uh, once again, where can our viewers find you online? Um, Scarlet Muse Cosplay okay. is what I go by on every platform. So Facebook.com okay. backslash Patreon, um, Instagram, Twi Twitter doesn't let me have that many later li letters. So it's Scarlet Muse Cos on cool. Twitter. But yep, Scarlet Muse Cosplay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. No problem. And if you are interested in checking out more of her work, absolutely recommend it. And until next time, this is Brad from Dallas Geek saying see ya.